If we look up to the sky, we will observe that everything that we see is moving. The moon orbits around the Earth, the planets move around the sun, together with asteroids and comets, and even the sun itself revolves around the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. What is the reason for all that spinning? If the moon orbits the Earth, it's because the moon moves at a certain speed, and there is an attractive force between them. That is the same reason that makes the Earth orbit the Sun. We don't fall to the Sun because the Earth moves quickly enough. It's the same principle that makes this mouse move around my hand without falling to the ground. Notice that the stronger I pull, the faster it spins. However, there is a difference regarding the attractive force responsible for the pull. In the case of the mouse, it was my hand that was providing the attractive force, while in the case of the Earth and the Moon, or the Sun and the Earth, gravity is responsible for the attraction. In the same way, gravity is responsible for the Sun rotating around the center of the Milky Way. Let us take a look at this particular galaxy. We see that it's mainly formed by two components. The stars, which we recognize from the light, and the gas, these dark clouds that we see in the surroundings. It looks clear that the galaxy is brighter in the center than in its surroundings. This leads us to think that the stars concentrate at the center of the galaxy, and that there is a bit more gas in the outskirts of the disk. These conclusions that we reach by looking at it can be confirmed and quantified so that we know the amount of stars and gas that the galaxy contains. We know that the more mass we have, the more intense gravity becomes, and thus the faster the galaxy rotates. So there's a way that allows us to relate the amount of mass to the rotation of the galaxy. Surprisingly, Peter Rubin observed that these two quantities didn't match as we expected. She observed that the galaxy spin much faster than it was predicted. In particular, for the galaxy we have seen before, we have the following rotation curve. We see that the rotation velocity this galaxy would have, because of the disk or the gas, is much less than the one it actually has. As we have aforementioned, the velocity of the rotation must be related to the amount of mass there is. If the velocity is higher, there are two possibilities. Either the physics is wrong, or there is mass that we don't see. This matter we would not observe through our eyes is what it is called dark matter. It is a kind of matter unknown to us that does not interact with electromagnetic radiation. Of course, one could argue that inventing a new kind of matter is unsatisfactory and that we are actually mistaken about physics. Naturally, there is far more evidence that supports the existence of dark matter, but that is topic for another video. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. And don't forget, you ask, send your answers.